<laughs> the the lawyer fees and the get out of jail for free that they're talking about in chat is very very real. When when I would do this, um, especially the physical pen test, I did one in Louisiana one time. Um, you know, uh, I made the CISO and the chief legal counsel of the company write me a letter with both of their signatures on it. Um, as basically a get out of jail for free card. And I, and I did almost need it. Um, I was, this is another hospital in Louisiana. That's probably narrow enough. You could probably figure out which hospital it is. Um, uh, you know, and, and they obviously, you know, we had done the hospital, but they wanted us to do like, if you're ever, if you live in a big city where you've got like a major hospital, I'll use Duke, for example, here in, in Raleigh, right? Duke has got a major complex in Raleigh and a major complex in Durham, right? But at the same time, they've got these little offices, right? As a matter of fact, um, two weeks ago before I went to Austin, when I went to go get my last CT scan, um, you know, I went to one of these little remote offices to go get my blood work done. Um, and we're talking like a five, six story building, right? Something like that. Nothing too big, but it's got like various services like blood work, maybe some physical therapy, um, right? Doctor's offices, right? Typical type of stuff. They wanted us to test some of those remote offices. Um, one of the harder ones was that the CISO wanted to go with me. And I was like, dude, are they not going to know your face? And he was like, oh, we could totally go to one where they don't know our, know my face. And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. We'll totally go to one where they don't know my face. And I was like, all right, I'm not really sure what doctor's office we're going to go to where they don't know the CISO's face. That's kind of scary in and of itself, but sure, let's go. Let's go make it happen. Right. Um, and so, uh, and so we go to this, this office and sure enough, they didn't know the CISO's face. And so I had to figure up a pretext, um, for two people to come in there. Um, and so I used my tried and true it. I listen, pretending to be it, like I made that post on LinkedIn that talked about the uh, the muggle stuff, but but honestly, like people do look at what it is that we do as magic, and so it was real easy, um, you know, to come in and be IT because people are like, oh, they're from IT. I don't know what it is they're doing. They're doing some magic. Go let them do whatever it is that they're doing, right? Um, and so I used my IT one, and so we went back to a doctor's office, and I plugged in my laptop, and I started to do stuff on the network, and about ten minutes in the chief medical person that was in that office came. They were like, hey, they said you were from IT, but I usually get calls from IT when they're going to come down because of how disruptive it is. And they didn't call me while you were there. And so like I tried to dance my way through it. Um, he went away, came back and said, hey, you guys sit right here. I just called security because I don't think you're supposed to be here. Now, granted, it took them like this whole thing took about 20 minutes. So I mean, I, obviously, there's still a lot of damage that I could do in 20 minutes of being there. But when security got there, because we tried to leave, he wasn't having it. When when security got there, we had to present the letter that was kind of like, yo, hey, authorized pen test. This is the CISO standing right here next to me. He had to show his credentials and everything else. Um, but those those letters do help. Like if you're if you're working for an org that does physical pen tests, like that should be on your checklist number one that you're asking for is yo, can I get a letter that doesn't send me to jail, right, for breaking into this company. But I do love, I do love physical pen testing. 